Welcome. In this section, we are going to talk about division of whole numbers. Here, the general question is how many times a number A goes into a number B, or how many a given number A are into a given B. For example, how many times 5 goes into 15, or how many sets of fives can I have to make the number 15? So let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is one set. I have 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is another set. I have 5. 5 plus 5, I have 10. Mm, I'm looking for 15, so I will keep adding 5s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5. This 5 plus the 10, previous 10, I have 15. How many sets of 5s do I have? 1, 2, 3. So, how many times 5 goes into 15? I have 3 times. And how do we write it? Write it 15 divided by 5 equal 3. 15 is called the dividend, 5 is called the divisor. So another way of doing it is subtracting 5 from 15 until we have 0 or until we have a number from which we can't subtract 5. Precisely a number from which if we subtract 5, we should get a negative number. So. I have 15, I'll subtract 5, that will give me 10, I'll subtract 5, that will give me 5, I subtract 5, that gives me 0. Mm, I can stop here, or if you want, you can do minus 5, and you will see that the number you will get will give you a negative number, so it's not even necessary to do this process. Once you find 0, you should stop. Now, how many times have we done the subtraction? One, two, three times. So, our answer is three. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Another example, let's do 7 divided by 3. So, otherwise, how many times do we have 3 in 7? So let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three plus three, I have six. Can I have another set of three? No. Or the only thing left is one. So this is one. Six plus one, seven. So in seven, I have two threes and the remainder is one let me rewrite it here seven divided by three is equal to two and my remainder is one so we call this one our quotient and we call this one our remainder in short let's do this the dividend Divided by the divisor is equal to the quotient plus the remainder. If your remainder is equal to zero, so you should only have the quotient. Now, from this one, to prove that your result is good, what you need to do is do the divisor multiply by the quotient. This so plus the remainder should give you your dividend. So if you do this operation, the left hand side, and you get the same dividend as the original one, that means your result is good. Now let's talk about something that we call long division. So we write it like this. So the dividend Dividend quotient and write down here 
we have operations and at the end we have the remainder sometimes the remainder can be zero or the remainder can be less than the divisor we will do some examples let's do this 75 divided by 4 okay let's use a long division we will write the 75 like this you do this you put 4 right there and now we proceed like this we look here we take the 7 how many times 4 goes into 7 one time I put 1 on top right here I do 1 times 4 that's 4 I put 4 right there now I perform the subtraction 7 minus 4 that's 3 should I stop there no because I have this 5 hanging right there so I drop it here I put 5 so I have 35 mm. now how many times do I have 4 in 35 8 times 8 times 4 32 I write 32 I perform my subtraction once again 5 minus 2 that's 3 3 minus 3 that's a 0 so here I end up having 3 less than this 4 and there is no other number here to bring down here so I stop and my result should be 18 and my remainder is 3 so 74 is 75 divided by 4 equal to 18 remainder 3 to finish let's talk about 0 in divisions 0 divided by any number different from 0 equal to 0 so 0 divided by any number different from 0 equal to 0 so 0 divided by 3 equal to 0 0 divided by 1000 equal to 0 0 divided by any number x x mean anything can go over there that should give me zero but on the other hand we cannot divide a number by zero so any number divided by zero is undefined so if i write three divide by zero this is undefined 21 divided by zero undefined so any number x divided by zero is undefined we call x a variable that means we can put any number over there now solve this by yourself 21 divided by 3 0 divided by 15 and for the following do the long division 33 divided by 9 or we can set it as 33 divided by 9 put the answer that you find in the comment section and we should stop here for now like subscribe comment share and i see you next session